Science Lesson 17. Thanks for joining us for our science lesson today. Everybody say hello. Hello. Okay, first thing we're going to do is our meditation. Heart center. We're going to think about our heart center. Two fingers. Two fingers. Find a heart center. Left hand and our left. And we close our eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Feel for that boom, boom, your heartbeat in your heart center. When you feel that, move your right hand into your lap. Keep your mind on your heart center. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your body still. Let's end our meditation with three breaths together. One, two, and three. Slowly start to wiggle your toes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers. Slowly open your eyes and slowly stand up, stretch them up high, stretch out all your fingers, and stretch your arms into a T, so we can t t touch our toes, and come up so your back is flat, let your arms hang like a monkey, Stand up straight and tall. Stand up straight and tall. Stretch your arms into a T. Stretch them up high and stretch all your fingers out. And stretch your arms into a T. Touch your toes. Come up halfway so your arms are hanging. Let your arms hang and swing your arms like a monkey.
Very nice, monkeys. Stand up straight and tall, like you're very, very straight and tall. <laughs> and let's do three claps. Let's do three spins. Very nice. Take three steps. Three jumps. Three spins. Three spins. Three steps. Three claps. Three jumps. Very nice. Very nice. We are going to grow. We are going to grow. That's right. Everybody starts off small when we grow. Start off small. I see you. I see you. Grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more. And grow. Let's do it again. Get to a small little ball. Get as small as you can. Get as small as you can into a little ball. And we're going to grow. We're going to grow. And grow. Very nice. We'll do it one more time. Get as small as you can. Get as small as you can. Small you can. Small as you can. And we're going to grow. We're going to grow. And grow. Very nice, friends. Take a seat. In this lesson, we're going to be thinking about how animals grow again. So we'll be talking about the frog, the butterfly, and spending most of our time making a project about how the chicken grows. So first, we're going to talk about how a butterfly grows. How does a butterfly grow? How does it grow? Starts off as a little worm. Then what does it do? Does it just get into a big worm? No. What happens? Yeah, it makes a little house to go to sleep in, right? Mm -hmm. When it's in its little cocoon sleeping, do you remember the word for when it breaks out of the cocoon? The word when it breaks out? Yeah, hatch. 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 Very good. Hatch is when it breaks out of the egg. So do dogs hatch? No. Do fish hatch? No. Fish come. Yeah, do snakes hatch? Do frogs hatch? Yes. Do cats hatch? No. No. Do horses hatch? No. No. Very good. Okay, so after the butterfly hatches, what happens? Is it a butterfly? Yeah. After it hatches, yeah, it's a butterfly. And a turtle. Can you come up? Pot, can you come up? No. We're going to draw our butterfly cycle. Okay, while they are working on that, let's have everybody stand up. Let's have everybody stand up. We are going to show how butterflies grow. Everybody be a little worm. Be a little worm. Show me how the worms are. Use your finger and be a worm. Good job. Use your finger and be a worm. Now make a house. Make a house. So that you can go to sleep in it. And then you're going to hatch out of your house. And now what are you? Butterfly. You're a butterfly. Fly around like a butterfly. <laughs> very nice. Great job. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you, friends. Great. Okay. So we have our butterfly life cycle. Where does it start? Does it start here? Is that the first thing? No. What's the first thing? The worm. You're right. So the worm is our first thing. The worm is our first thing. Then the worm makes its little cocoon house, goes to sleep in that cocoon house. Then what happens? Butterfly! Yeah, it hatches out and it's a butterfly. Very nice. Let's all practice one more time. Let's all practice it one more time. Show me how you start as a worm. Then make a house for yourself. 
go to sleep in that house. Then get ready to hatch out of that house. What are you? Now you're a butterfly. Fly around like a butterfly. Very nice. Good job, friends. <laughs> one more time? OK, one more time. Everybody show me how you're a little worm. You're a little worm. Show me how you make a little house so that you can go to sleep in the house. Then you're going to get ready to hatch out of that house. And you're a butterfly. Very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. OK, let's talk about frogs. Do frogs start out the same? Yeah. No, they're different. How does a frog start? In an egg. It starts in a little egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. It starts as an egg. Does it stay in that egg forever, or does it hatch out of the egg? What does it do? Hatch. 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 Yeah, it's in the egg. It hatches out of the egg. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. After it hatches out of the egg, is it a frog? No. What is it? Yeah, tadpole. The tadpole can swim with its tail. And then it gets bigger. And what happens? And then it's a frog. OK. Uh oh. Can you draw for us the tadpole when it's swimming? You're going to draw the frog for us. What color do you want to use? OK, while they're doing that, let's practice the frog. Frog starts off as an egg. Show me. Then we're going to hatch out of the egg. Then we're a tadpole. We can swim. We can swim. Then we're going to grow. And what are we? A frog. Show me how you can hop like a frog. Hop like a frog. Oh, can you put your eggs right here? Put the eggs up here. That's OK. What is the first thing when our frogs grow? Do they, do they look like this? Then they turn into this little guy. His, his name's a tadpole. We don't have to know the name, but what can he do? He can swim. Does the tadpole stay like that forever? No. What happens? Grows. It grows, and then it turns into what? Frog. The frog. OK, let's practice being tadpoles and frogs. Show me the egg that you live in. For when you break out of the egg. What's the word? Hatch. 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 Good job. We hatch out of our egg. Hatch out of your egg. And then what are you? Tadpole. You're a tadpole. And you can swim. You're a tadpole that can swim. Then you grow. What are you now? A frog. Show me how you can hop around like a frog. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, look at these tall hopping frogs. OK. Very nice. Now we are going to talk about what animal do you think we'll talk about next? Chicken. How do chickens start? How do they start? In an egg, they start in an egg. It does start with a C. That's cool. That's cool. Starts with a C. Let's have our last friends come on up. Okay. So we need an egg up here. We need an egg up here. Draw a big egg. Big egg up here. Small chicken. Big chicken. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. How does a chicken start? Show me your egg. Show me your egg. What's the word for when the egg opens? Hatch. 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 Good job, everybody. Show me your egg. Hatch out of your egg. Now you're a little baby chicken. Little baby chicken. You're a little baby chicken. You're a little baby chicken. Now you're going to grow. You're going to grow. And you're going to grow into a big chicken. Now you're a big chicken. Now you're a big chicken. Good job, friends. So first we start out as an egg. We grow into a little chicken. 
And then we grow into a big chicken. Very nice work. We're going to move on to our little activity where we're going to be making a chart about the life cycle of the chicken. So first, we're going to start with an egg. We're going to draw an arrow to the egg hatching. We're going to draw another arrow to our little chick. And we're going to draw another arrow to a big chicken, which we're going to use by making a handprint in red paint. So it's going to be really fun. Spend a few minutes um, getting the materials together and spend about 20, 25 minutes building your chicken life cycle or if you're doing the butterfly or the frog life cycle. Okay, we're going to do our life cycle of a chicken. How does a chicken start? It's an egg. On the top of your paper, draw a little egg. Draw a little egg. Draw an egg on the top of your paper. What ha What happens to the egg? Does it stay an egg forever? Hatch. Hatch. It hatches. It hatches. Good job. So over here on your right hand side of your paper, I want you to draw that egg hatching open. Draw that egg hatching open. Draw that egg hatching open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, draw that egg hatching open. Good job. Draw that egg hatching open. Very nice. What comes out of the egg? What comes out of the egg? Good job. What comes out of the egg? Does a dog come out of the egg? No. What comes out of the egg? Is it a big chicken? Is it a tiny chicken? No. Is it a baby chicken? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a baby chicken. So on the bottom, draw a baby chicken. Draw a baby chicken. Try to make it about as big as your hand. Draw a baby chicken. Oh, the chickens are different. So draw a tiny chicken. Draw a tiny chicken. It doesn't have to look the same as this. That looks good. Draw a tiny chicken. It doesn't have to look like this. It can look different. Just draw any, any kind of tiny chicken that you want. And we're going to take a few moments to color in all of our pictures. Big chicken yet? Okay. Put your, put your baby down here at the bottom. Put him down here at the bottom. Put him down here at the bottom. Yeah, you need to have him down here at the bottom. Put yours down at the bottom. Yeah. Very nice. Down at the bottom. Okay. Put him down at the bottom so he's little. Down at the bottom. And color your chicken. Color your chicken. What color are chickens usually? They could be yellow. Sometimes they're brown. Sometimes they're black. So color your chicken. That's fine. You don't have to erase. You don't have to erase. Color your chicken. Good job. That's a good, good spot. Cut. What is this? Egg. Egg. What's happening here? Ha, ha. Hatch. Hatch. Our chicken is hatching, breaking out of his egg. What is this? Is it a big chicken? No. It's a baby chicken. Okay, we're going to add a few things for our chickens. The first thing we're going to add is a little nest for our egg to sit in. Okay? We're going to add some nice grass for that egg to sit in. So everybody come on up. You're going to get a piece of grass. Take it back to your desk and glue. Okay, go glue on your grass. Here you go. If you want to color that nest, you can color that nest. That's cool. Go ahead and color your little nest. Hmm, it could be yellow, it could be green, it could be brown. Go ahead and color your little nest. Color your little nest. You can color the nest, yeah. If you want to leave it white, that's okay. Or you can color your nest. Color your little nest. 
if you like. Raise your hand when you have finished coloring your nest. Okay, cool. The next thing we're going to add to our chickens, we're going to add some little feathers to our baby chick. We're going to add some feathers to our baby chick. Okay, Ooh. feathers for your chicken. So your little chick should have two feathers on him. Very nice. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Do these look the same? Are they different? No. They're different. That's cool. They're all going to look different. That's great. Same. Are they different? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's very nice when everyone has different things. Great job, friends. Okay. Very good. What's missing from our chicken picture? We're going to add a big chicken. We're going to add a big chicken. Can you come on up, please? Can you come on up? Hold on. Let me just show you first. I'm going to show you first what we're going to do. Come over here. Give me one of your hands, please. <laughs> We're going to make our chickens be red chickens. All of our chickens are going to look a little different. Okay. Put your hand right there. Just like that. Very nice. Spread your fingers out. Good job. Push hard. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, now we are going to turn this into a chicken. You're going to wash your hands. So we're going to draw some little legs on our chicken. This is going to be his face, and the fingers are going to be like his feathers. So you can go wash your hands. Everybody's going to get a turn. We're going to make a red chicken on our paper. Yes, you can go wash your hands. Okay. All have our chicken life cycle. And we should all have a chicken for our last picture. My chicken is a little weird looking. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just draw him in a little bit. So if your chicken is ready, if your hand is ready, go ahead and draw a little face on your chicken on the part that's your thumb. Draw some feet on your chicken. And these are going to be your feathers up top, okay? So take a few minutes to draw in your chicken. I'm going to wash my hands and we'll meet right back. <laughs> the last thing you are going to add on your chicken life cycle, some of these, the arrows. So you're going to just draw an arrow from the egg to the egg hatching. From the hatched egg to the little baby chick. And from the baby chick to the big chicken. So draw some arrows to show how that chicken starts as an egg, how he hatches, then he's a little chicken, then he grows into a big chick. So draw some arrows to show how that chicken grows. We have finished our life cycles of the chickens. So how does the chicken start? What's the first thing the chicken is? An egg. Very nice. What happens to that egg? It hatch. Good job. It breaks open. It hatches. What comes out of that egg? A small baby chicken. What happens to that small baby chicken? Does he stay the same size? No. No, he grows. And then what does he become? A big chicken or a little chicken? Yeah, he grows into a big chicken. Good job, my friend. Okay, tell me, tell me an animal that comes out of an egg. Turtle. 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 What's another animal that comes out of an egg? A snake. What's another animal that comes out of an egg? Fish. A fish. Okay. What's another animal that comes out? A bird. Are there any other animals we can think of? A butterfly. A bat? Yeah. Uh, bats don't come out of an egg. That's okay, though. And frog. And a frog, okay. So we have frog, turtle, snake, fish, bird, or a butterfly.
butterfly. Chicken! A chicken, okay. A chicken is a kind of bird, but we'll put chicken over here too. Chicken, okay. Chicken, very nice. I have an egg. We're gonna see what's inside of this egg. So feel that egg. Hold it in your hand. Don't break it. <laughs> Hold that egg in your hand. Okay, pass it to Peng Pong. Hold that egg in your hand. Yeah, hold that egg in your hand. Hold that egg in your hand. Mm, is it hard or soft? It's it's hard. It's kind of like chalk, right? Chalk egg. It's a chalk egg. Okay. Who thinks there's a frog in this egg? Chalk egg. Anybody think there's a frog in this egg? How many people? You? Then don't raise your hand. Raise your hand only if you think there's a frog in this egg. Okay, nobody thinks there's a frog. Raise your hand if you think there's a snake in this egg. No. I think there's a snake in this egg. Raise your hand if you think there's a butterfly in this egg. No. Anybody? It's okay. Raise your hand if you think there's a chicken in this egg. Okay, one, two, three, four people think there's a chicken in this egg. That's a pretty good guess. That's a good idea. Raise your hand if you think there is a turtle in this egg. Turtle. Raise your hand if you think there might be a turtle in this egg. Me. If you already voted, don't raise your hand. Raise your hand if you think there's a turtle. Uh, five? Okay. So a couple people voted two times. That's okay. All right. Raise your hand if you think there's a fish in this egg. Anybody think there's a fish? You think there might be a fish? Two? Who thinks a fish? One, two, three, four, five, six people think there's a fish? Okay. Okay, prow and down. Come on up, please. Here's a stick. Here's a stick. See if you can get that egg kind of open. Start working on that egg. just have one turtle. Oh, yep. I think we just have one turtle. Okay. What's in our egg? What's in our egg? A turtle. What color is our turtle? Yellow. Very nice. We're going to wash our hands. Thanks for joining us for our science lesson today. Everybody say goodbye. Bye.